They are heroes, first responders who risk their own lives to save the lives of others. You know, firefighters often don't get recognition for their sacrifices, but with your help, that can change here in Portland. Our Ken Bonnie has the story in tonight's Where We Live. They rush to infernos, and sometimes they don't make it out alive. I am a descendant of a fallen firefighter. Elizabeth Asahi Sato's uncle was senior captain Gregory Warner. He was only 40 years old and he had served the Portland Fire Bureau for over 22 years. He died in 1946 after putting out a fire. Sato is pouring her heart and soul into establishing a fallen firefighter memorial at Portland's East Bank Esplanade next to Fire Station 21. Each firefighter that lost their life has an important story, not only to other firefighters, but to the public. We have a particular lighting scheme. If a firefighter dies in the line of duty anywhere in the country, uh, we would light it up to, to let people know. 74 Portland firefighters have made the ultimate sacrifice over the years, including Portland Fire Chief David Campbell in 1911. He rushed into the Union Oil Company fire on Southeast Water Street to warn his crews that the building was about to collapse. The crews made it out. Campbell didn't. Credited with establishing modern firefighting methods in Portland, his funeral procession was the largest in Portland history. A memorial to Campbell is at Southwest 18th and Burnside, next to Portland Firefighters Park, where the historic fire bell, The Messenger, resides. The David Campbell Memorial will stay and be cleaned up. The bell will move to the new memorial. Porth and Sato hope the public will step forward to help make the memorial happen by June of 2023. It's where they plan to have the annual service for fallen firefighters now held where many firefighters are buried at Southeast Portland's Lone Fir Cemetery. And I believe that this memorial is not only going to be educational, but it's going to be meaningful in the way that it brings us together. Ken Body, Coin 6 News. Portland firefighter has already contributed $100,000 towards the million dollar cost. Plus, the city of Portland kicked in another $100,000. And if you'd like to help out, we've got a link for you at coin.com.